clap your... Have I got your attention? <laughs> Great. Have you ever wondered how your perfect day would look like? Yes? No? I have. One year ago, I was not satisfied with my life. Even though, objectively, everything was all right. I was doing my exchange semester in Spain. I lived in the great flat, awesome flatmates. But still, I felt something was missing. I was asking myself, what is it that makes up a good day for me? How does my perfect day look like? So, I came up with a plan. I opened a new Excel file. In the first column I wrote, how was the day? Next I wrote, when did I wake up? When did I go to bed? What are the highlights of the day? And what could go better? My plan was to complete the self-made questionnaire every evening in order to figure out what variables would influence how I would rate my days. And that's what I've been doing for the last year. And I will also do it tonight. Under the highlights, I will write giving a TED TEDx talk. Then I started to add other variables. Quite a lot of other variables. <laughs> and for example, how much time did I spend with my friends? Or how, has my, how productive have I, have I been today? Or how was my stress? Did I feel stressed that day? You might be wondering now, how exactly did you rate your days? It's quite simple. I choose a number between 1 and 10, where 1 is the worst day of my life, and 10 is the perfect day. 5 is just a normal day. To give you a little overview, over the course of the last 365 days, 8% of my days were not so good days. So with a rating lower than 5 out of 10. The big majority, 67%, were nice days, good days. And 25% were awesome days, with a rating higher than 8 out of 10. I started to analyze the data, and I discovered some interesting things. What you are seeing here is how I rated my days over the course of one entire year. And I want to point out a few things here. So, <clears throat> on this global scale, you can see one big wave with a few bumps. But if you look closer, you can see that this wave is made out of little smaller waves. What a surprise, you might think. In this view, you see how I rated my days over the course of, not of the course, between May and June 2018. So, as you can see, it's a constant up and down. And there were never seven days in a row that I have, 10 out of 10 or 9 out of 10, it was constantly moving. And this is also true for every other variable I tracked. Let it be sleep, let it be productivity, or let it be even happiness. It was constantly moving up and down. Nothing stable. So, interestingly, despite, despite the knowledge I have right now, I'm only able to influence my days to a certain degree. What I mean by that is, in September, I had a lot of very good days, so I was kind of on a high. And I thought, now, now I know how my perfect day looks like, how to have great days, now I know how to be happy. But then a few weeks later, my happiness levels dropped to a normal level. And I thought, oh, I don't like this. I want to push them up, up again. So I tried hard and to implement the things I learned, but I just couldn't reach a 
8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10. So what I want to say is that I believe being aware of this fact that everything is moving and especially your happiness and your mood, that being aware of this can really help you to be more relaxed when things are not so easy because you can be sure it will go up and it will go down, but it will go up afterwards. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I, not, I did this not only because, to, because I wanted to find out how my perfect day looks like, but on a deeper level to figure out how to, ha how to live a fulfilling and happy life. Next, I will share with you what I personally learned from this journey. All right. When I analyzed the data further, I discovered that the feeling of progress or learning something new was the most important factor in determining how I would rate my days. For example, a few weeks ago, I created a website. And it just made my day when I had the website, it was online, and it even had a newsletter integration. So that was a pretty awesome day. I also discovered that I love exploring. I love exploring my surroundings by bike. This, for example, is in Luxembourg. Maybe you can resonate with the next one. I discovered how important food, no, this is the good weather, and food, <laughs> how much I like them and how much I value them. Next, I have a little question for you. I also analyzed, analyzed the highlights of my day. What do you think could be the most frequently mentioned topic? You might guess it. I will tell you. <laughs> so it was doing something with other people. That was the most frequently mentioned topic in my highlight section. But you have to be careful. It's not how much time you spend around other people, but to actually have a quality conversation with someone you really care about. So, this is what my perfect day looks like, components that make them up, but my perfect day is not necessarily your perfect day, right? This is why I encourage you to find it out for yourself. How does your perfect day look like? You can start very simple, tonight. When you come home, before you go to bed, take out a blank piece of paper and write down what are the highlights of the day and what could go better. If you want to get more sophisticated, do it in Excel and start adding other variables that you think could influence how you would rate your days. So, start simple. Start tracking your days. This will help you to figure out what your perfect day looks like. Thank you. <laughs>